everybody, this is Sirik 1983 and welcome to Shia. This is the LP uh, that I mentioned that I was, you know, planning to insert in place of The Witcher. Uh, for those that do not know, Shia is made by Area Games, which is, well, if you've never heard of them, they actually, they actually specialize in making uh, free-to-play MMOs. Uh, so obviously this is uh, oh, online. Um, it took me a little while to figure out how I would record this because it well it's an MMO and uh, unlike Eve Online it is very much uh, you know you have to play it in order to you know progress through it whereas Eve Online you can set skills or whatever that will train in real time kind of thing but uh, I don't know it's I, I'm gonna give it a shot in terms of an LP just to see what kind of interest I get and uh, and uh, ultimately it would be kind of cool if I could get some uh, some of you viewers to uh, you know join in at the game like I said it's free so it's free to download uh, it's but a 1.2 gigabyte file that I had to download an installation file uh, but other than that it's free to play uh, it's it's a pretty decent game as I'm hoping you'll, you'll be able to see for yourselves and if it uh, interests you enough, then uh, and I get enough, uh, you know, positive feedback about it, then I'll uh, keep doing it. But anyway, sorry. So let's log in here. Uh, crap! What was my password again? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. There, believe me, there's no way in hell you'd be able to guess my password. So don't bother trying. All right. So I've actually got two accounts with this game. One is for well, if I ever want to play this game and I can't exactly record at that time, then I'll play the other game, but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, this is gonna be the LP, um, uh, count, so, I usually choose Lila just cause, well, that's the first one, but yeah, it's got four different servers, uh, all four servers are the same, uh, aside from the fact that, you know, they're, you know, different people playing on each server, so, alright, and the character you choose to create only applies to that server, so, alright, let's choose up Gaia, my, uh, my other account is, uh, uh, on uh, Lila, but uh, all right. So here, when you, as soon as you log in the first time, you probably won't. If you're logging in for the first time, you will not get. Uh, you must choose Union Alliance, Alliance of Light. Uh, you'll get a. You'll be able to choose either one of these. The reason I have to choose Union Alliance is because uh, the last character I, I uh, created to test run. Uh, you know, actually using this as an LP, I chose the Alliance of Light, which is what I'm going to choose. Uh, See. Hey, cool. I might not have to. All right. <laughs> All right. So I might as well go through them. Uh, basically, yeah. These are the. This is the evil race of the game. Uh, basically, kind of like the the dark side of the game. Like you know. Uh, well, I'll show you. And yeah, this just goes through. I uh, dare you, the path of fury. Cast off the shackles known as mor morality and live on your own terms. For your greatest ambitions, you may be. May, or for your greatest ambitions may be fulfilled at the mere cost of your soul. Have you the courage? Okay. <laughs> And justice is whatever you believe is right. I'll ask you once more. Are you honest with your desires? Okay. But yeah, I'm just gonna go into the uh, four different races of the game. All right, let's see. Create here. All right, for the dark side, you got the Death Eaters and and the the Veil. The Veil are kind of like the Dark Elves of the game. Uh, I don't even think they're elves, but uh, they're the the dark side of. Uh, the elves that you play as in the uh, the Alliance of Light, which is the side I'm going to be playing for. But yeah, you got Death Eater and you got uh, Veil. Uh, you can basically you got a, a limited number of selections to choose between hair and face and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, you got the Assassin here. I really like this class. Um, again, it's just like the Ranger class, I guess, in the uh, the Alliance of Light. But uh, I, don't know, I guess it really depends on what you want to play as. But yeah, you've got the four stats over here, just basically letting you know. Uh, um, each character's usefulness in si certain situations, like for Solo, the Assassin is pretty good, uh, and then the Pagan is obviously it's a, more of a mage type character, so it's eh, okay, horrible defense. And then you got the uh, the Oracle, which is probably solely for party, you know, just buffing and healing and all that kind of stuff. So it's sort of like a priestess or a priest, anyways. Uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna choose uh, the, the uh, uh, Fury or whatever. I should have. Yeah, hang on. I gotta, uh, create one just to, uh, <laughs> uh, death eater, male, warrior, whatever, normal, okay. Yeah, in order to get back to the, uh, selection screen, I gotta delete this, and, 
okay. And go back to the select the country. Yes. Yeah, it takes two hours for it to delete it off the system, so if you, you're trying to use it to, you know, trying to abuse it, uh, you won't be able to. So let's choose the Alliance of Light. And, uh, alright, let's read the story here. The elves, descendants of the ancients, began losing their foothold in the wars with a veil. The energies that fueled their magics were being stripped from nature as the never-ending wars, wars, wars raged on. In desperation, the elves cried out to the goddess for help, as if in response to their pleas, a great dimensional rift was torn in the fabric of the universe and a bridge was made to the realm. Here is where the elves met the humans, and the cunning Terrans took up arms with the magical elves. They formed the Alliance of Light, and their purpose was one, to reincarnate the goddess filled with good, Itain. Now they fight their, own, fight their only opposition, and the wars still rage on. Yeah. And Alliance of Light. Seek you the path of light. Patch of <laughs> yeah, okay. Area Games, I believe, is a Korean company, so there is a little, uh, there is a, a bit of uh, broken English and you know typos and all that kind of stuff. But it's, it, it's not enough to hinder your playing experience. But anyways, to give your seek you the path of light, to give your life for the sake of another is the noblest of deeds. Purify your heart, for the road ahead is dark and fraught with peril. Have you the strength? Yep. And we welcome you with open arms. May peace and joy follow you on your long journey. All right, now let's actually create the character I'm going to be using. So, yeah. All right, so yeah, you got humans and the elves. All right, I'm going to be playing as a human male uh, fighter, pretty much. But yeah, here's the elves. Yeah, Ranger is basically essentially the same as the assassin was for the veil. So there you go. And you got the archer and then mage. Yeah. So as I said, oh yeah, I'm going to show you something. It's you now. <laughs> Believe me, somebody's already taken that name. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, male fighter. Uh, well, I don't name him. Yeah, let's just call him Sirik 1983. Even though Sirik's evil, but oh well, I'm not. So, just so you know who I am, you know, maybe in game if you join up, you'll be able to see me, and you know, maybe join up, uh, you know, form a party and do some quests together. Anyways, all right, let's change the. Uh, All right, there we go. Got the stuff I want all picked out, so there we go. Alright, obviously, I like being tall, so there we go. Alright, as far as the modes go, uh, easy is, well, it gives you a brief description up here. Mo yeah, you're li some abilities you will not be able to use in the easy mode. Uh, and in order in order to be able to use all the normal uh, special abilities and all that kind of stuff, you have to choose normal mode. Now, you got two other modes here, hard and ultimate. In order to unlock hard, you have to reach level 40 in normal mode. And in order to in order to unlock ultimate, you need to reach level 40 on hard mode. So uh, yeah, they've got a t sort of a tiered system, and uh, there's a lot of things that they've uh, implemented in this game in terms of you know uh, avoiding exploitation and all that kind of stuff that I really like. It's very intuitive. So anyways, all right, all right, got all my stuff sorted out here. So let's go. Alrighty, I'm gonna choose your final. All right, level one fighter, normal, and arena. Lines of lights. Alright, let's game start. Alrighty, here we go. And this is based and just a simple welcome message. Uh, we would like to offer some tips that will help you to help you survive in the exciting world of Shia. You can move with mouse and keyboard, so WASD are the defaults and the space bars to jump. Uh, double tapping Q and double tapping E will uh, you know allow you to um, roll kind of uh, a roll kind of move. Uh, Shia consists of the un Union of Fury and the Alliance of Light. Those who wish to leave your name mark, please head to the Borderlands, Proelium Frontier, Cantabillion, and Dwater Borderland. Each class acquires various skills when leveling. Use strat strategy in battle to make the best of you best use of your skills. And then it gives you a little bit more information about, you know, going to the website and all that kind of stuff. So, Alrighty, so here we are. Of course, I have to come in right when it's raining, but... Uh, <laughs> Believe me, the uh, the atmosphere on this side is a bit more uh, cheery than on the the uh, the Vale side <laughs> or the uh, uh, Union of Fury side. Um, should I go into? Yeah, I'll go into some details here. I'll go into the character, uh, you know, sheet here. Uh, yeah, you got your all your basic stuff here: the HP, MP, uh, skill points, and you got your strength. Uh, when you, every time you like every level you gain, yeah, your experience is here. It tells you how close you are to the next level down here in terms of percentage. So I need 100 experience in order to reach level two. Uh, as soon as you, for every level you gain, you gain five points to put towards your stats here. 
Uh, obviously, since I'm a fighter, I will not have much use for intelligence or wisdom, so I'll be putting the majority of my points into strength, uh, uh, recovery, dexterity, and luck. And you can just, uh, you know, cursor over these just to find out exactly what they do. But strength, obviously, at physical damage. Uh, recovery is physical defense and uh, HP. Uh, dexterity is basically your uh, being able to, you know, evade attacks and all that kind of stuff, you know, being able to hit the enemy much easier, and it also affects how many skill points you have, and then luck is just determines your criti determines the action taken uh, with critical hits. Anyway, so that's all the time I have for this episode, so in the next episode I guess I'll go a little bit more in depth to other th other aspects of this game, and we'll start uh, looking for some quests. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Have a good one.